In this unit, we will introduce you to basic concepts and features of MS Word, advanced features of MS Word, creating new document, saving a document, editing text, selecting a word, a line or text using mouse, deleting and undeleting text, redo command, formatting Word document, print preview and printing, and working with multiple documents. After completing this unit, you must be able to use Microsoft Word to create and save documents, edit text, format Word document, use print preview, page setup and print documents, Work with multiple documents. Microsoft Word is the most commonly used word processor. It provides easy to use interface for writing a large variety of documents. You can write a small memo or a complete book using MS Word. Word 2000 provides many features. These include some basic features and advanced features. Basic features include creating files, using existing files in different formats, printing documents, using bullets and numbering, inserting date and time, inserting images, formatting text, creating tables, sorting tables, automatic spell checking and using thesaurus and grammar. Advanced features of MS Word include creating different types of documents and even web pages, using templates to create documents, inserting nested tables, sharing information across the network, integrate objects of other applications in Word documents, send facts by using MS Word, use mail merge features and add graphics and apply themes. Some of the basic features will be discussed in this learning session. When Word starts, it places you in a new document. You may immediately begin typing your file. You can also use file menu to create a new document based on built-in templates in Word. Click file menu and select new. Word presents you with the new dialog. You can create blank document, legal documents, letters, faxes, memos, professional CVs, publications, reports, and even web pages. When you select a template, Word presents its preview in the preview window. Select OK to create a document based on the selected template. It is important to note that your changes do not affect the original template. If you want to make a new template, you may select the template radio button. When you have completed typing documents, you can save the document with a name that will allow you to easily find it again. There are two options in the file menu that are save and save as. When you select Save Options first time, it displays Save dialog box. The dialog box allows you to enter the name of file, select the save type and location where the file will be saved. By default, the name of document is Doc1. Its type is Word document and location is My Documents. You can use letters, numbers and spaces in a file name. The length of file name can be from 1 to 255 characters. Press Save button to save the file. You may continue adding more text to this file. When you select Save option from File menu, again, it will simply update the contents of this document. Control S key combination and Save button on the toolbar allows you to save the current document. Save As option saves an existing file with the new name or as a different format to be used by other programs. In the Save dialog box, 
click on the down arrow beside the box labeled save as type and select the format from the list provided. The save dialog box displays the places bar that includes the history, my documents, desktop and favorites. You can access any of these storage locations. You can select a new storage location by clicking the down arrow beside the box labeled Save In. Some buttons are provided at the top of Save dialog box. You can use the button with the left arrow to display previously visited folders. Use one level up button to move up one folder. Use web button to search on the web. Delete button to delete a file or use create new folder button to create a new folder. Click on the views button to arrange the icons by name, type, size or date. Use down arrow button beside the tools button to access a pull down menu for advanced saving options such as mapping network drives and customizing the web options. When you have completed entries of save dialog box, click on save button to save the document. Before learning the editing in MS Word, you must be familiar with the navigation across different parts of the document. This table shows arrow keys and control keys and their purpose. If you use the shift key with the movement keys, you can select text. After you have typed some text in MS Word, you may want to edit it. This involves Deleting text, inserting text, replacing the existing text, or moving the text. To delete text, character by character, you can use delete and backspace keys. The delete key deletes the following text, while the backspace key deletes the character that was immediately typed. Text formatting involves many operations to change the appearance of text. Some formatting operations include applying attributes like bold and italic, changing the font, size and color of text, aligning text, adding bullets and numbers, presenting text in tables, applying indentation, in changing line spacing of text. Word provides format menu on the toolbar to apply different formats. It also provides a format toolbar that contains different buttons for various formatting options. You can select a style for your text by clicking on the down arrow beside the style tool. Select a text and apply bold, italic, or underline attribute from toolbar. Select a text and apply different font from the toolbar. The alignment of current paragraph changes as you click on left align, center align or right align button on the formatting toolbar. By default this alignment applies to the current paragraph where your cursor is blinking. You can select multiple paragraphs to apply alignment. You can use justify button to equally align the text on both sides of the page. You can increase or decrease the indent of current paragraph by using indent buttons. Use numbering or bullets button to apply numbering or bullets to your text. Word automatically creates new line number or bullet as you press enter key at the end of the numbered or bulleted line. If you want to highlight some selected text with a different color, you can use highlight button. There is another button to change the color of text. Dialog boxes for these options are also available from format menu in the menu bar. You can access many other options on these dialog boxes. For example, 
font dialog box has many other options like strike through, superscript, subscript and much more. You can access paragraph dialog box in the format menu. It allows you to specify alignment, indentation and line spacing. Table menu allows you to insert table in your document. You can then type text inside the table. You can change the appearance of borders of a table by using outside borders button on the formatting toolbar. It has different options to apply and remove borders. In addition, table menu allows you to draw table, insert table, select rows or columns, and adjust the size of table. It also allows you to enter mathematical formula and sort the entries of the table. Word automatically checks the spellings as you type. It underlines the misspelled words with a red line. This underlining is for viewing purpose only. You can point to the red underlined word and click the right mouse button to access menu that offers the correct spelling for that word. It also provides other features. Ignore all allows you to ignore the spelling of this word in the whole document and keep it as it is. Add feature allows you to add this word in the custom dictionary. Autocorrect feature gives you autocorrect options for the misspelled word. It will automatically update the autocorrect entry for this word and whenever you misspell it, word will automatically correct it. Dialog box shows the misspelled words with sentences in the top section. It also shows grammatical errors. It shows the suggestions in the suggestion section. You can select appropriate suggestion and click change button to correct the error in your document. Dialog box shows the next incorrect sentence in the top section and suggestions in the suggestion section. You can select appropriate suggestion and click change to move to the next incorrect sentence a word in your document. If you want to ignore the suggestions and keep the word or sentence as it is, you can click ignore to ignore once or ignore all to ignore all occurrences of this word or sentence in your document. Sometimes the word is not found in the main dictionary and MS Word assumes it a spelling mistake. To avoid this, you can add a particular word in the custom dictionary. For example, the word Alama is not found in the main dictionary. You can add it in the custom dictionary. Change all option changes all occurrences of a word in the whole document. Undo last reverses the last action made during the spell checking. Before printing a document, you may want to see how the printout will look like, where the text, header, footer and footnotes will be printed on the page. You can click on Print Preview button in the toolbar or select Print Preview from the File menu to preview the current document. When you are in the print preview mode, the text window shows a preview of your document as it will appear when printed. The toolbar has now changed. The window displays a non-editable page. The mouse pointer changes to zoom control. The magnify tool is used to magnify or demagnify the document. If this button is turned off, 
you can edit the text in preview mode. You can control the zoom factor during page preview. The print button starts printing the current document on the default printer. Single page button displays a single page during the preview. Multiple page button displays multiple pages during the preview. Ruler button shows or hides the ruler. The horizontal and vertical rulers allow you to set the margins of the page. Sometimes a small amount of text is on the last page. You can use shrink to fit button. Word will try to fit the output on one page. Use full screen button to hide all screen elements and show the text only. Press escape to show elements again. Close button closes the print preview and returns to the editing screen. When working with two or more open documents, you can switch to the desired document by using window menu or you can quickly switch to any open document by clicking on its icon in the Windows taskbar. Each time you create a new document or open an existing one, Word displays it along the taskbar. Simply click on the document you wish to switch to and that file will become active.